Hi there, it's Laura here from Get Organized HQ and today I'm going to share with you some of the things that I have actually regretted decluttering and getting rid of. Now, before we dive in, go ahead and take a second and subscribe, hit that bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna get your home more organized and you wanna hear more videos on better ways to get organized. Before I tell you what I have regretted decluttering, I think it's really important that you know that I actually massively racked my brain and had to think really, really hard to even come up with these things that I regret. And I have decluttered so, so much over my lifetime and 99.99% .99 of it, I honestly didn't even think of again zero regrets. So I want to encourage you to keep decluttering. Don't let the fact that you might have a regret or two stop you. And let me tell you this, it's, it's hard to declutter. It's, it just is. It's something that it requires making a lot of decisions. Decisions are hard and we always wonder, what if I need this in the future? What if I regret this? And if you declutter as much as I do and create a space that is full of only the things that you use and love, chances are pretty good that there's going to be some point in your life where you actually got rid of something that you could have used. And I want to tell you that that is okay. The value of things that I have gotten rid of and needed to replace is far less than the, than the value of actually being able to find what I have. So I want to make sure that you know that going into it. That said, let me tell you the things that I kind of wished I hadn't gotten rid of. So number one, recently we were cleaning out my son who's four. We were cleaning out his toys. As kids get older, they outgrow their toys. He still had several like baby toys and he didn't need baby toys anymore. I mean, he was playing with preschool age toys. My kids have plenty of toys. So we were just clearing out some of his things to make room for new things. And there was this plastic tool set that could have been used probably by any age of child. And we decided to get rid of it. He didn't play with it a whole lot. Maybe it's too young for him. I wasn't really sure though because, I mean, again, it's something that many ages could use. So we went ahead and got rid of it along with a ton of other toys. And it wasn't maybe a week or two later that he was looking through all, the, all of his toy bins and he was like, Mommy, where is my tool set? And I'm like, well, honey, we passed that along to someone else. And he was sad. And um, I felt kind of bad. And I was like, well, I, I think I'll probably forget about it. But a couple days later, he asked about it again. And a couple days later, he asked about it again. So I realized, hey, he really remembers that tool set and he really wants it. Now, I want to note that we also got rid of like probably three big boxes full of stuff none of the other stuff did he even ask about. So this was the one item he noticed. So I went to Target or Walmart, I can't even remember where, and I spent I think about $9 to get him a new plastic tool set. And honestly, he likes that tool set even better. It was designed for a slightly older child. Like the tools were less like plasticky and babyish and they more mimicked looking like real tools. And he loves that tool set. So the total cost of that was $9 versus the cost of holding on to all the toys that he didn't use and never even being able to find the ones that he wanted was much higher. But that is something that I wish we had just held on to and not gotten rid of. Another item that I kind of regret getting rid of is some of our fancier dishes and serving wear from many years ago. I think as wedding gifts, we got a couple like nice serving platters and these really nice drinking, I don't know what you call them, goblets, glasses, they were just really beautiful. And I used them a few times um, after we first got married. And the thing is that my kitchen was, was really small and the amount of storage space we had in our kitchen was really small. So I just couldn't fill it with 
you know, fancy drinking goblets that take up, you know, a decent amount of room that we use once or twice a year. And these huge serving platters, there was no, there was just literally no space in the kitchen for them. So they had to be stored in like our extra storage area in the basement. As time went on, I found myself going less and less down to the basement and going through all the trouble to bring those up and use them and dust them off and all of that. And eventually I realized it had been at least two years since I had bothered to go get those. I just made do with something else. We just didn't have fancy glasses. I used paper, disposable cups more and more often. I made do with the serving wares that I had and I just never used them. So I went ahead and passed those on. Now, a few years later, we're living in a bigger house and our kitchen is much, much larger with much, much more storage space. And I actually have a space where I could store a couple pieces of serving ware and some fancier glasses right in my kitchen. And I imagine that if I did that, I would use them much more often. So I kind of wish that I had those. But here's the thing. I'm not sure that it would have been worth carrying them through two or three moves and through many, many years of not using them to get to the place where now we have more space in our kitchen. And I've looked those glasses up and I think it would cost me, I think I had eight of them and they come in sets of four and I think they're about $15 on sale. So I think I could replace them for $30. So if I decide that I just really want those glasses again, I can just pay $30 and I will get them back. And the serving ware was a little bit more. Um, I will say though, styles have changed, so now um, I couldn't go to the store and buy that exact piece, but I wouldn't even want to. I would want something a little bit more contemporary and modern, and I think I could replace it for maybe 40 or $50, a little bit more, but I would get something that is even more contemporary that I like even more. So I can't even say that if I had it to do over again, I still think I would have gotten rid of them. Although it is something that I have thought about on more than one occasion and realized that I probably could use those if I still had them. Another item I decluttered that I could have used was an ethernet cable. So I don't tend to keep cables around when I don't even know what they're for or when there's something generic that's easily replaceable and our entire home is Wi-Fi wireless. Uh, we don't even have ethernet. We don't have that type of internet that we would need that type of cable. And so I decluttered all of those. Well, about a year ago when we were having some issues with our internet and we had someone come out and try to diagnose it, we could have used a cable that connected the router directly to the computer and that was an ethernet cable. And I recalled, I remembered, I actually decluttered all of those. It was a slight pain because we either had to reposition a desk so we could be closer to the router or we had to make a 10 minute trip to Target and spend maybe $5 to buy an ethernet cable. We ended up being able to rearrange the desk a little bit. We didn't even have to go buy one, but that was one place where I could have used it and I slightly regretted it. However, if I hadn't been decluttering cords all along, who knows where that cord would have been? I would have had 50 random cords. They would have been hard to find. They would have been taking up space. And that's a small price to pay for not having to store 50,000 random cords. There is another item that falls into the category of I probably would use it now if I hadn't got rid of it, but it would be hard for me to call it a true regret. And that is, I used to do a lot of rubber stamping where you would like make cards and I had this really cool gadget that would cut out metal dies and I used it quite a bit and then over time I just ran out of time for that hobby. I developed new hobbies and I stopped using all of that rubber stamp stuff. Well. I decided to let it go because it was only causing me to feel guilty when I looked at it and realized I don't do that anymore. And I also realized that as time went on, these types of hobbies, there's a certain style. So what I used 15 years ago would be totally out of style. Like I wouldn't even like those rubber stamps today. And if I wanted to stamp today, I would want something 
newer and more modern and so I passed that all along now 99% of it I do not regret those rubber stamps that I had are so not in style today I would have no desire to use those if I would kept the ink pads they would already be dried out no desire to use those but the little die cutting tool I now am looking into buying a couple of dies so that my daughter and son and I can make cards together and I think it's something they would really enjoy using and I probably could have used that and I think it's gonna cost 30 or 40 dollars if I want to replace it so that's another place where I could have used it but I'm not sure that it would have been worth the hassle to lug around from house to house and find a place to store when I went through a period of five six seven years of not using it and again it kind of went with all of the other gadgets so the amount of space that I freed up was huge. I hope that hearing some of the things that I have regretted has given you some inspiration and actually helped to encourage you to let more things go. And if you have anything that you have decluttered that you've regretted or kind of wished that you hadn't, I would love to hear what that is in the comments. So go ahead and let me know down below.